In this video, I will explain what a beat sheet is. A beat sheet is the precursor to a screenplay outline. It identifies the important moments of an episode or a feature film and lays out exactly what needs to happen in each act of the screenplay. Okay. Let's break that down some more. It identifies the important moments of an episode or a feature film. This point is important for two reasons. A beat sheet is brief. It is a series of single line statements of what needs to happen in your screenplay. A beat sheet works better if you know exactly what story you're telling. This means you should know how you're planning to start the story and where you're planning to end. And this is just as applicable whether you're writing an episode of a TV show a feature film or even a short film. Notting Hill was a romantic comedy released in 1999. Now back then, there was a pretty standard structure for your average romantic comedy and it looked something like this. There was the meet cute, one of them made a move, there was some sort of misunderstanding that drove the two lead characters apart. Then came the reconciliation, often accompanied by a grand gesture and that would lead us to the happy ending. Now get your mind out of the gutter you know what kind of happy ending I mean. As you can see, these beats are barely five sentences long. But if you remember the movie, you know that the filmmakers put the characters through a series of misunderstandings and each time the onus was on one or the other character to repair the damage done. It's impressive that they led us to believe that an average man could have any sort of power in a relationship with an international movie star. If you manage to keep it inside of one page, you will have a one page idea of what your screenplay might look like. Reading one page again and again has got to be easier and a lot less frustrating than rereading 30, 60 or 120 pages. This is why it's important to get your beat sheet in good working order so that you can be excited about moving on to the next step in writing your screenplay. Now, why is this important? There has been a lot of talk, especially on screenwriting Twitter, about winging it. Winging it is not a good career plan. Even though this business is very random and there is a huge factor of right place, right time attached to most successful careers, you have to know that those writers did not turn up in the right place at the right time without a plan. Whether you're working on a screenplay or your career, it is important to have a plan. I have a quick side note. Plans can be changed at any point, but it is important to start with a plan. So back to the beat sheet. Is it possible to go straight to screenplay from the beat sheet? The answer is yes and no. If you are writing the next episode of a show that has already established its main characters and their relationships with each other, yeah sure, you can go directly into the screenplay stage after your beat sheet is in good shape. If you are writing a brand new story, possibly a feature film that does not rely on existing IP, you may have to outline the story before you can go to the screenplay stage. But that is the subject for another video. So there you go. This is what you're trying to do with a beat sheet. You're trying to ensure that you've included all of the elements that are relevant to the genre in which you're writing your screenplay. And then you get to put your unique spin on it. I'd like to thank Karthik Kampela who asked me about a beat sheet on Twitter. Would you like me to explore and explain other screenwriting terms that you may have heard of but are not entirely sure what they mean? Leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe and activate that bell icon to be informed when we upload our next video. Thank you for watching.